Hey guys, welcome to the 16th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the rectangular pattern. And basically what we want to do in this tutorial is fill this entire rectangle up with these circles right here. So we could obviously copy and paste it and then reposition it, but a much easier way would just be to use this rectangular pattern up here. So just go ahead and click on this, and as soon as you do so, you see that um, a dialog pops up. And the first thing that it wants you to do is basically select the geometry that you want to make a pattern out of or that you want to copy. So we want to fill this entire rectangle up with these circles right here. So we're going to go ahead and select this circle. All right. And the next thing that we have to do is basically select a path for the tool to follow. So we want to first create circles in this direction, so either up or down. So we're just going to go ahead and select this line as our path. And you can only select lines for your path. You can't like select a spline or an arc or a bridge curve or anything like that. So we have to use a line. And this line is perfectly horizontal and this will be a perfect path for the tool to follow. So just go ahead under here uh, where it says direction 1 and just go ahead and click this button. And then you're just going to want to select the path and in our case it would be this line right here. So as soon as we select that we see that um, an arrow pops up right there and that's basically the direction that the tool is going to create uh, your pattern in. So it will create um, another circle up here since the direction is pointing up. Well we don't want that. We want it to create circles downwards. We want it to create circles inside of this rectangle right here. So we're just going to go ahead and press this button and this button will basically just flip the direction that it will create circles in. So we're just going to go ahead and click it and as soon as we do so, we see that it changed that direction of the arrow, and we even have a nice preview of where the next circle will be. And that's actually too far away from this circle. We want to fill this entire rectangle up with circles. So we're going to make these two closer. And to do that, we're just going to want to change the spacing right here. So currently, it's one inch. We're going to go ahead and change that to um, 0.2 of an inch. So we're just going to make it right there. And the spacing is basically the spacing in between the center points. So the center point of this circle right here and the center point of this circle is 0.2 inches apart right now. And that seems pretty good for us. But we don't want there to only be two circles in this pattern. Like I said, we want to fill the entire rectangle up with circles. So to do that, we're going to have to change this number right here. And currently there are only two. Well, we're going to change it to about six. That seems pretty good. If we made another one, if we made it seven, we see that that's outside of the circle. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it at six for right now. And we want to fill the entire rectangle up, not just this column right here. So we want to create circles in this direction as well. And that's where this direction two comes in. So you're just going to go ahead and click this button right here, and then just go ahead and select the direction that you want it to create your pattern in. And our direction two would be this line right here, since we want it to create circles along this line. So in this direction right here, so we're just going to go ahead and select this line. All right, and as soon as we do so, we see, again, we get a nice preview of where the next pattern will be. And again, this is too far away, so we're going to go ahead and make the spacing 0.2 just like we did before. All right, so now here we have two uh, columns, and we have six rows. Well, we want it to go all the way across, so we need more columns of circles. So we're going to go ahead and change this to about 12. So now there are 12 circles along the top, and then there are six going down, and then all the rest are just filled in uh, with our pattern. All right, so now when we go ahead and click OK, we see that all of those circles are created, and that's really all there is to using the um, rectangular pattern tool. You can obviously mess around with this if you want, so I don't know, say you wanted only circles created in this direction. You don't have to choose another direction as well. So let's say actually we only wanted circles across the top right here. So we just go ahead, select our geometry, select our direction, and that would be along this line since we want uh, circles only across the top right here. So we just do that. And let's say we want them spaced out a little bit more. So we want a half inch in between the center point of each one of these circles. And then we'll just make there be about five circles across the top. All right, so now when we just click OK, we didn't have to choose a different direction. You can only choose one direction if that's all you want. And now we just have five circles across the top here, and they're all equal in size, and they're all equal distant apart. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the rectangular pattern tool. 
So see you guys.